going to Winnipeg. There he is, standing there waiting for us. Doing his Johnny Cash impersonation. Looks like a good day for a road trip, doesn't it? What's the uh, what's the math this weekend, Dave? I know they can clinch a playoff spot, right? Yes, they can. I'm not good at math, but the simple math I can do. Yes, yeah, so if the Eskimos win over the Bombers and they get some help by with the uh, Saskatchewan Rough Riders, uh, they beat the BC Lions, and the Eskimos will clinch a playoff spot and also a home playoff game. So it's a pretty big, uh, pretty big uh, circumstance if the Eskimos are able to win and get some help on the weekend. I was uh, talking to Odell yesterday and he said, yeah, yeah, we don't care about that. That's not the spot we want to clinch. So I guess that's it. Need to clinch first place. They want the home playoff game. Well, and there's been a lot of people wondering about should the Eskimos even have the home playoff game or have the have first place because they have a bye week at the very end of the season, the last regular season week of, of, of the CFL season, and that would mean a three-week break. And some people go, whoa, that's way too long. But look, the Eskimos' job is to win, is it not, Morley? They've just got to win and let the chips fall where they may. So the goal is to get wins and to beat the Calgary Stampeders and hopefully get first place. Bombers are certainly better with uh, Matt Nichols now, eh? Yeah, I would say. Uh, they tried it uh, with uh, with Robert uh, Marv and with Brian Brahma, quarterback, but Matt Nichols became available, and uh, obviously he was helped uh, by the fact that the Eskimos you know, kind of pushed him out a bit and because Mike Riley came back. They had James Franklin, you got Jordan Lynch. There was no spot for Matt Nichols, so good on Ed Hervey to find a, a suitor for him. And, yeah, sure, the Bombers called first, but Matt Nichols, I've enjoyed watching him uh, running the uh, Winnipeg Blue Bomber offense. He's 1-2 and two as a starter, but I think he gives them a, a real chance to win. We don't know if their regular starter, Drew Willie, is going to be back, so Matt Nichols has given them their best chance to win, and I think he's played well. Had a good game against Saskatchewan at home in the Banjo Bowl. Didn't play very well in Montreal, but had a good bounce back and a loss to the Calgary Stampeders. I really like what he has done with the Winnipeg Blue Bombers and, and Morley, he knows the Eskimo defense very well because he practiced against it for uh, a couple of years. I know uh, he'll be running around a little bit. The defensive linemen, I talked to three of them yesterday, they all said kind of uh, interestingly that uh, I'm looking forward to seeing him and I don't think they meant shaking hands with him before the game. I think they meant helping him up off the turf during the game. <laughs> On the other side of it, and uh, that's probably going to be our marquee matchup, um, Jamal Westerman, uh, just named Performer of the Month. Uh, he's got 11 sacks. Winnipeg has 17 sacks, and he's got 11 <laughs> of them. Uh, so if you can if you can look after him, you're going to have uh, a pretty good day, I think. What time's the game? Game's 3 o'clock in Winnipeg, right? Game's 3 o'clock in Winnipeg. So 2 o'clock here? That's right. Pre-game 12.30. 6.30, Chad. Mountain Standard Time. Mountain Or is it Mountain Daylight Standard Time? Time? I don't know. I guess we can just park right here, right? Okay, sounds good. I'll just leave the keys in the car, and I'll probably be here when we get back, right? That would I, be fantastic. Uh, I signed it out. I signed the book out, Ryan Jesperson, so probably be no issues. <laughs> Won't be our fault if we lose it anyway. All right, hey, Jespo. Let's go do this. Now shut up and drive.